Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. From our house to yours, and it's it's been quite a week. And while we wait for several to come on, we just want to say uh, we want to share a blessing with you and your family this evening. A Shabbat blessing. Uh, we bless your home, every circumstance of your home. We bless your relationships, your finances, uh, and we just thank the Lord uh, for you tonight. And it has been quite a week. And we were talking about um, how to listen and look for God in the midst of chaos and, and look and listen to see where God's moving in the midst of trials, storms, tribulations. And, um, you know, we were looking this week at the dates, um, Tuesday, second month, 22nd day, 2022, and you add that up and you come to 12, which is government, and uh, we began to look up scriptures of 222. That's something you could do as well, um, in Acts 222 and Isaiah 222. But this week has been, let me see if I say it right, a palindrome Paladrome. week. A palindrome week. Where right. The numbers of the week, the days of the week, the numerical value of the days of the week, read from frontwards, Forwards and backwards is the what same. I mean. They're the, the same. same. They For, read the same. Forwards and backwards. There you go. And so that just mm -hmm. my, the Holy Spirit was saying, yeah, because God is the beginning, sees the beginning, and the end. God sees the end from the beginning. Mm -hmm. God is in your beginning and already in at the end uh, with you. So that just shouted to me that no matter what our days hold this week, God is with us. God's got us. God is in the beginning of what's created this week, and he's in the end of the victory of this week. And so I can set myself um, in peace, shalom, peace with the Lord, rather than fear and anxiety. And You know, you know what's something, Debbie, interesting, is as, as we were reading um, the Torah reading this week out of Exodus, God had given Moses the dimensions and the uh, way of building the temple. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the first chapter, I think it's chapter 35, um, he goes into there and he, he prefaces the, mm -hmm. uh, the, the making of all the furnishings again. He's And talking to the people, he's talking about the people that build the tabernacle right. and all the intricacies and all the details of it. But he prefaces it in the first few um, verses of, of Exodus 35 with, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Right. And he talks about how the Sabbath is important. And so as I was reading on that and studying on that, one of the things that came out to me was before we do, before we, build worship before we before we are in a building to worship mm -hmm. before we work for God before mm -hmm. we do something for God worship with God is more important than the actual doing or the actual work and so you know a lot of people go to church but they have prepared themselves and God desires a relationship mm -hmm. And if we're working for God, but not have a relationship with him, mm -hmm. it's just a clanging symbol. It's just like uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. It's not love. It's that and, form of godliness. And that's for the godliness. Yeah, and no power. And so God always desires, even with Israel back in the Old Testament, he desired a relationship with him. And the other thing is, he didn't want them to operate in a slave mentality. Uh -huh because they had been 400 years as slaves to Pharaoh, right. and all they knew was task, all they knew was uh, work, all they knew was doing. Uh, and so God did not want them just to do, he wanted them to have a relationship right. with him, and out of the relationship with him, then they uh, go and serve, mm -hmm. that rather than work. And so just some interesting thoughts about that as we come into yeah. Shabbat. So Shabbat is not about actually ritual or orthodoxy yeah. or making sure we right. cross every T and dot every I and they would get all this correct this next 24 hours. 
It's about relationship. It's, it's about yeah. worship. It's a dinner. It's, I was going to say it's like a dinner invitation. God is asking you out for a date. And he set this date aside uh, to spend time with you and uh, to sit with you. And uh, he, he loves us to hear his stories, Amen. the testimonies, his word. And, uh, you know, so this week we were mindful in sending the word of God on assignment and sending the angels on assignment this week as well. Because God says, I don't want you to fear. I want you to know that the battle is the Lord's and that God is working. And tonight we're going to talk about... Well, we're going to talk about the second Adar too, the second right. part of Adar, which happens seven times in the last 19 years where there's Adar 1 and Adar 2. Right. And we're going to give an overview of Adar 2 tonight right. and how in these, it, it actually starts next Friday night at sunset, mm -hmm. Adar 2, March the 4th. But we want to give you a kind of a precursor or, or a, heads uh, a heads up, up of where we're headed ready. for yeah. the month of March leading yeah. into Passover. Yeah, let's run into March. And so we thought tonight we're going to yeah. share um, some characteristics and some... What's interesting is... A pastor friend of mine, Brad Moore, we were at his church about a month and a half ago, and after one of our services, he got up and he said, go get your running shoes. He said, go, yeah. Go buy some running shoes, because yeah. he said, in March, you're going to run into March, and you have to have new yeah. shoes to run faster. And I love the way he said this, that... You, everyone knows that when you have a new pair of shoes, you can run faster and you can jump higher. <laughs> and, and God has Air great... Jordans. <laughs> God Air has Jordan great... River, <laughs> jumping over the Jordan River. God has great heights for us to jump. He has a race for us to persevere and actually run. If you're going to run a race, you have to show up. And if you're going to run a race, you have to prepare. And if you're going to run a race, you have to put some, well, it helps to have shoes on to run. You actually have to run. And so um, I was reminded of those words from Pastor Brad, and uh, which were so true to the body of Christ. Get your shoes on. Get ready to run with God. He has a purpose and destiny for you. All right, let me pray. Father God, we welcome in Shabbat, this 24 hours of appointed time when we're to uh, rest and walk in peace and walk in joy and worship you and give you mm -hmm. thanks and give you uh, our adoration and love for all that you've done for us this past week and for what you're going to do for us this week. We thank you that every uh, bill has been paid in full. We thank you, Lord, that every need has been met. We thank you, Lord, that we are able to uh, be abundantly blessed. Uh, we're blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed coming in, blessed going out. We're blessed in the store, and we're blessed in the basket. And we thank you for this in Yeshua King Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I hope you've got your candles. Hey, 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 I've got mine. And it's like, let's work this camera together. And so they're running. Okay. So we're going to light the candles and pray and welcome in the peace and joy of the Lord. It's a mind shift. It's a mindset. It's partnering with God in his heart. Isn't that good? You get to partner with God. Amen. All right. We'll Here get... we go. Okay. So. Blessed art thou, O God, King of the universe, who sanctifies us through his word and commands us to kindle the lights of Shabbat. And Father, we welcome in your presence to every area of our lives. We welcome your presence into our whole household in every situation. And Father, we bless and honor your name. We thank you for the deliverance of this past week. And we thank you that you have already set before us open doors for this next week. And Father, we enter into your divine timing where you desire to release your presence the promise of provision, and your miracles. And Father, tonight, for those that are watching, we ask that um, you would go to their the Holy Spirit. There's no, there's no distance in the Holy Spirit. So we just send 
the warring angels to war on their behalf and to move all manner of circumstances for your glory uh, to show forth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So we're going to get in right into it. Um, the This month is the Adar. And we're going to enter. This, so we're going to enter Adar into two. Adar 2 this coming Friday, a week from tonight at sunset. Right. And it is uh, the month of laughter. Okay, so it is the month of laughter. And it's the month when we are to give, uh, really practice and look at Laughter. You know, it's that month to remove the mask that we hide behind. Wow. Isn't that something? I can't breathe. Uh, I can't breathe. Well, it's it's the month to enter into who you truly are in the identity of Christ Jesus. And when we're not experiencing the joy of the Lord, it's we've we've lost our identity. We're hiding behind a false mask. And we're looking for other things in our circumstances to make us happy. We're not relying upon who we are in Christ Jesus and not relying on the word of God and his promises. Remember, in Christ Jesus are all of God's promises and they are yes and amen. So remove the mask this month. Well, it's interesting. This is the month of Ash and Mardi Gras where they go down and oh, pray with right. a mask. That's right, the because counterfeit. Because the counterfeit, they wow. hide behind. And, you know, the mask is, is it, yeah. I mean, it's artistic and it has yeah. all their personality that they want to mm -hmm. offer. And I, and I don't know who they're offering to, but uh, it's time to remove all the trappings of what you want the world to see. And it's time to yeah. take off the mask and realize that God has a purpose and plan for you and a destiny for your life. Uh, God doesn't want the counterfeit. He wants the authentic. And when you walk with people, they want to see authenticity. They want to see the real Christ Jesus flowing through you and out of you and not hiding behind agendas. How about that? It's also the month of the tribe of Naphtali which is sweetness is to be. And we've talked about Naphtali. They were swift to be able to speak. They were swift in battle. But it also has to do with, uh, with uh, sweetness to be. Uh, his banner over me is love. Mm -hmm. um, it has to do with that. Well, the tribe of Naphtali, remember we talked about this for the month of Adar 1. That tribe, were, they were gifted communicators. And how we communicate to those around us sets the atmosphere, can uh, be a blessing or uh, a curse to those around you. And, and so, listen, we always talk about this, sweet lips, hello. You know, sometimes we're talking to, it's like sweet lips, hello. Let's use sweet lips. Um, because To communicate. <laughs> to communicate. <because> Whining <laughs> and complaining and negative, you know, that's not sweet lips, that's sour lips. Sweet lips. So, you know, <laughs> sweet lips um, can be manifested in our worship and our praise before the Lord. And it goes before us in our day. Our next uh, characteristics of Adar 2, or Adar 2, has to do with the constellation. Now, let me just explain this real quick. Yes. The constellation is not astrology, right. which is witchcraft and, and uh, fortune telling. We're talking about astrology, astronomy. astronomers, astronomy. astronomy, who study the skies and the stars. God said in scripture that to know the signs, the seasons, you know the constellations. And I put up on Facebook, it's Pisces, which is a picture mm -hmm. of two fish that represents abundance, which represents unity, which represents uh, uh, thinking the same mindset. It has to do with the two becoming one. It has to do with a marriage becoming one. You know, you're declared at the altar, your wedding, as the two, two shall become one, let no man put asunder. So you're declared one at your wedding. But as you know, it takes a lifetime, lifetime. for you to live out being one. It yeah. also has to do with the Jew and the Gentile, the two Pisces fish, 
coming together as one. Well, the early church, their sign uh, would be the sign of the fish. And you know, a lot of times on bumper stickers, you would see the sign of the fish, meaning uh, Christian and Christ Jesus. And so it's in Genesis where God sets the times and the seasons of the stars and they declare wonders and signs. You've seen the jewelry. I have jewelry right here with the Star of David, but you've seen the jewelry with a fish mm -hmm. and a Star of David uh, the, together as one. Uh, that's what it represents. It also has to do with abundance. This, this is the month of abundance. Even the midst of what it looks like as being uh, everything stolen from you, it is a picture of Jesus uh, and the, the disciples feeding the 5,000 with the uh, uh, two loaves and five fishes and how the fishes multiplied and multiplied. We don't know how it happened, but they just kept giving people food and it kept multiplying. And at the end of that, there were how many basketfuls? 12. There were 12 basketfuls, yeah. remember? Two, yeah. two, 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 add those twos together is 12, is governmental. So God's government always provides more than enough for his people, for his children. And this is the month to be reminded of God's abundance. Remember, God's abundance comes from God. And he will, it's the month to find your supply in a hidden world. What's a hidden world? It's the kingdom of God. You see, we are spirit speaking beings that come from God who live on earth. But we're in the kingdom of heaven when we are renewed in Christ Jesus. And he is our savior and deliverer. And so our source comes from the Lord. Um, just, and I think... Uh, just like the five loaves and the two fishes and how God multiplied that, God just says, what's in your hand? Give me what's in your hand. That God, this is all I have. God will take it. When you give him your all, he takes it and multiplies it for his glory. This is that month. Here's another characteristic of, of this month. Can you see it? The it. time of celebration. So it's a time of celebration so that your curse is overturned and things become sweet. Amen. Look at this. And what is the other one? This, this is, is the, the month truth. of overturning worry and anxiety. See, when you're worried and anxious, you're giving it respect. You're giving it your attention. You're giving it your energy. And God's saying, Listen, uh, that's contrary to my word. That's contrary to my kingdom. And it's learning to sit before the Father, coming before him in prayer and petitions, coming before him and decreeing and declaring what his word says over your finances, over your Health. needs, over your healing. It's in the word and it's through the blood of Jesus. Over relationships. Mm -hmm. You see, I love, Debbie has this saying, she says when in our house, I don't give respect to that. I, I don't give respect to COVID. I don't give respect to lack. I don't Fear. give respect to shortages. Fear. I don't give respect to that the shelves are empty and you won't have enough. I don't give respect to I can't pay my bills. I don't give respect to the pain is so bad. Will I ever be able to make it through this day? You see, that gives attention and a fear demands emotions. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is when we start expressing fear, it demands emotions of anxiety, mm -hmm. of worry, of fret. And if I carry the presence of God and his glory with me, his glory and his presence will make a way for me. So I set my faith in Christ Jesus and I trust in him. And this is the month to decree, remember the camels are on its way, my resources are coming, it doesn't matter what the world says. Yes, we're in the world, but Christ Jesus who is greater than the world is in us. The next one is this, I don't know if you can see it, but the month, uh, it's the month uh, Moses was born. Isn't that and something? so this is the month of a deliver coming forth. Yeah. Remember, Adar too 
is 30 days between uh, before Passover. It is the precursor to Passover in Exodus. Mm -hmm. It's also a precursor to a month later is when Passover Jesus on the cross took place, mm -hmm. okay? And so uh, this is the month to look for a deliverer. Esther was a deliverer in, it is the book of Esther, okay? That's our focus and this that's, month. The focus is this month, the book of Esther. That's you right. wanna read through Esther. But Haman had declared, yeah. uh, had declared and decreed that all of the Jews would be destroyed. He, they, they pass lots, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> Purim, Purim yeah. or Purim yeah. actually means in Hebrew, casting lots, okay? Esther, her name means hidden or concealed yeah. because God had a deliverer that was going to set the people free. Like with Moses, it also was with, uh, it also was with uh, uh, Esther and Mordecai. Now, Esther is the only book in the Bible that God's name is not mentioned because God wants his people to know that he is working behind the scenes, okay? Mm -hmm. And so Moses was born in this month. It's interesting. Here's an interesting thought. On the 14th day of Adar 2 mm -hmm. is when Haman right. cast the lot to determine what day the... Um, the uh, Israelites would be killed, the Jews would be killed. But it's also the same day, watch this, the same anniversary that Pharaoh was chasing after the Israelites mm -hmm. and the Red Sea came together and killed Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. A month later, 30 days later in the spiritual calendar, Jesus dies on the cross as our Passover lamb. That's right. So on Adar 14 mm -hmm. is the lot, uh, they, they cast lots for the date of the Jews. To destruction. Be destruction. Mm -hmm. It's the same date, uh, uh, Adar 14, that uh, Pharaoh is destroyed at the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. And on Nisan 14 is when Jesus died on the cross and became our Passover lamb. You can't make this stuff up. Though the enemy wants to destroy you, and he comes to destroy, and that's who he is, a thief who comes to rob, steal, and destroy. We know that we have our deliverer, Jesus Christ. We have a way maker. And this is the month that... Uh, we can celebrate that those curses are overturned and things can be sweet. Remember, we know the rest of the story. We know the victory uh, in the book of Esther. But they still had to walk through the days where they prayed and they fasted and they walked through persecution. They walked through lack and displacement. And so in this month, and wherever situations take us this month. We have a deliverer. We have a God who is our provider, Jehovah Jireh. We have a God who will overturn and bring things about. Look for the deliverer. Look for where God is moving and decree it so. And decree that God's working on your behalf behind, yeah, the, scenes. behind the scenes. In other words, in Esther, things turned around on a dime. That's mm -hmm. a term that the Jews use. Mm -hmm. uh, God turned things around like that. And so whatever you're going through, yeah. whatever you're facing, whatever is coming against your peace and your joy, mm -hmm. remember, like in Esther, mm -hmm. God is working behind the scenes and his timing is perfect and he is going to come through for you he is an on-time God. He's our victor. Now remember, in, if, when you read the book of Esther through the month of Adar too, and you see God working behind the scenes and the preparation that was made, the prayer and the fasting, but even though Haman hung on the gallows, and even though things were turned around, the Jewish people still had to go to war. Though the, because there was a government decree that could not be taken back, and so they still had to go to war, but God gave them victory in that war. So this is the month, Adar 2. Watch this Will now. be the month to develop your war strategy against the schemes of the Antichrist. 
Isn't that a word for our world today? Isn't that a world a word for our world? What, what the world is going through right now with uh, uh, War. Russia, Ukraine, with China, China Taiwan, Taiwan with Canada, know. what's going on in Canada and mm -hmm. other nations. This, say it again, this is the this month. This is the month to develop your war strategy against the Antichrist. The Antichrist. Or an Antichrist an spirit. Antichrist spirit. Mm -hmm. Antichrist agenda. Okay? And so um, you're going to develop that in prayer and in discernment and seeking God. But God is working behind the scenes, and we're going to be encouraged in the month of Adar through the book of Esther that God is with us and that God is going to do miraculous. He's still the God of wonders, signs, and miracles. And we call them forth and decree and, them forth And this the month. scripture that you can uh, speak out loud and quote is Philippians 2, mm -hmm. 9 through 11. That's right. And says, God has exalted Jesus, that at the, that, that at the uh, name of Jesus, right. every knee shall bow in heaven, on earth, mm -hmm. and below the earth. What is that? Mm -hmm. That's the demonic realm, the antichrist realm, and uh, that he is Lord mm -hmm. to the glory of God. We're also praying Psalms, 35, that God will deal with the adversaries. And I was, I was trying to bring it up, but that is also what we are praying uh, today, this week, and uh, before the Lord, we are sending Psalms 35. I'm gonna see if I can't get one of the verses for you so you can, you can see. Um, it's contend, O Lord, with those who contend against us. Fight against those who fight against us. Take up shield and armor, arise and come to my aid. Banish the spear and the javelin, the schemes, the plans against those who pursue me. So Psalms 35 says, God is our salvation. Amen. And the word of God we send forth. Amen. So Amen. let me bless you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you. That's right. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. Receive it. And the Lord give you peace. Shalom, peace. In Yeshua HaMashiach's name we pray. Amen. There is so much to share in the month of Adar. And so for the next several weeks, we're going to be unpacking these spiritual truths. We hope you will join us. Please like if you're watching YouTube. Uh, you want to click the bell and you want to subscribe. There you go. And if you're watching Lo Well uh, Wellspring Israel or Jim Lehman on Facebook Live, what yeah. you want to do is you just want to like and share. Please. We look at all the comments. Sometimes we don't respond. For those on YouTube, thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing. Amen. Help us uh, uh, help us build our missionary. our missionary, our broadcast across the world. Um, we, we look at all the comments. Um, uh, Y'all are precious, and we pray for each one that comments. And you're in our hearts and prayers. Uh, thank you so much for listening in. We love you. We'll be on again every Friday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And uh, we just want to encourage you in the Lord to love him with all your heart, soul, and mind. Yeah. And your neighbor as yourself. Shabbat Shalom. Thanks for listening yes. in. Yes, Shabbat Shalom.